Welcome to Total Training's Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 Essentials. I'm Dee Sadler, an Adobe Freelance Professional, Adobe Certified Instructor in Over 5 Programs, Adobe User Group Manager, and Adobe Community Professional for the Creative Suite and Regular Speaker at Conferences. In this Essentials training, we'll learn how to start from a flowchart, to wireframe, to designing and working with CSS. We'll add interactivity, use templates, and learn how to test and publish your site. We'll start by learning the environment in Dreamweaver before we create our first site. The very first time you open Dreamweaver, you might end up with a little dialog box that asks you to define a site. You can just click Cancel out of there. We won't be defining a site right at this very moment. Now you'll be able to see your start screen. Your start screen is a place that you can open a recent item. You're going to be able to see 10 of your most recent items from here so that you can quickly just click on it and open the file back up again. You can also open an item from here. You can create a new HTML, ColdFusion, PHP, CSS, and even create a new Dreamweaver site from right this very window. You can also take a look at the top features in video form of Dreamweaver CS5. But let's go ahead and take a look at an actual file so we can take a look at our panels. I'd like you to go to your file menu. We're going to go to open. And in your project files, in your chapter one folder, there's a file called dwenvironment.html, and I'd like you to open that. Once this file is open, let's take a look at our window first, and then we'll take a look at our panels after that. The very first thing that we see in the upper left-hand corner are three buttons. We have a code view, so that you can work in just the code if you're more comfortable with that. We've got a split view. Split view is highly recommended because you can see both the code and your design view all at the same time. The design button does just that, let you work in just the design view. The next button over we have is our life code. Our life code lets us see JavaScript working in our page. If we had some spry elements that we wouldn't be able to see normally, when we see it in live view, in conjunction with the live view button, we would be able to see the code changing in our code view as well. Now the inspect button is a brand new button that we have for CS5. I'm going to go ahead and have you click on the inspect button. When you're in the inspect button, you're able to see live view as well. When I roll my cursor over an element on my page, I'm going to be able to see the padding and the margins for that particular element. This is especially helpful in making sure that we are managing our CSS properly. So for instance, if you have a little extra spacing in an element on your page, you're going to be able to tell exactly what the problem with that spacing is and with the inspect button. Go ahead and turn that off and the live view off. Now we have a browser button. So if I want to actually see my page in a browser instead of just in my window right here through live view, I can open up a browser. My visuals is my next button over. That allows me to see whether I want to choose to see my table widths or my layout backgrounds for my CSS, etc. I get to choose which things I would like to see and which things I don't. Next over is our title button. Our title button is very important with Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver allows you three places that we can title our document. You don't want to end up with an untitled document in the end, so we always suggest that this is the very first thing that you do is title your document when you first open up your page. My final button with my little arrows is making sure that I can upload my file and download files from the server, but we won't be doing that just yet. So now just click on your page to deselect your text. Now let's take a look at the bottom of our page. The bottom of our page is a very important little feature in Dreamweaver. Now it's been around for a long time. It's not a brand new feature, but it's one that's important nonetheless, and that's our tag inspector. Our tag inspector allows us to choose elements on their page easily just by where your cursor happens to be sitting. In the moment, my cursor happens to be sitting in my list items. So I see body, UL, and LI tag. If I were to click the LI tag, then it selects the list item for that particular bulleted list. Further down, we have our selection tool, a hand tool for when my page gets full and I need to move my page around, a zoom tool that lets me zoom all the way up to 6400% if I wish, 
the size of my page as far as weight goes, so that what's 1K and how many seconds it takes to download. And it says that it's Unicode UTF-8, which has all to do with my special characters and how they're displayed on my page. So let's take a look at our property inspector next. Our property inspector has two buttons on it. I have an HTML button and a CSS button. Depending on what I have selected on my page, my property inspector changes to reflect the options for that particular element. At the moment, I happen to have some text on my page, so I see my formatting, I have an ID, I have a class, I can make a link if I need to, and just a few other features here. If I take a look at my CSS button, I see that I have a targeted rule for my LI tag, and I can always choose a new CSS, or I can see my cascade from here. I can edit a rule from here, and I can see my default font and the size of my element that I have on my page. Next, let's take a look at our panels and our workspaces. If you're familiar with other Creative Suite applications, you might also be familiar with being able to change your workspace. If we take a look at the top of our screen, we'll see that right now it says Designer, and there's a little arrow that has a drop-down to it. If we go ahead and click on that Designer and change that to Coder, for instance, we'll see that your page changes to Code View and that your panels move over to the left-hand side and you're able to see your Files panel more specifically. Let's go ahead and change that back to Designer, and we'll see that if I click up here, I also will see underneath all of my different workspaces that I can reset designer, I have a new workspace, and I can manage workspaces. So let's take a look at some of our panels so we can see what things that we might want to have over on the side. If I take a look at my window menu, I have all of my panels available. So even ones that we have over there already have a check mark next to them. So for instance, if I'd like to see my behaviors, I can have that added over to my panels on the right-hand side, and if this is how I like to work, then I can come back up either to my window menu or where it says designer at the moment, and I can pull down to workspace layout and new workspace, and I can just name it, say OK. And now the next time I make changes, this is available to me in my drop-down as the very first thing. So let's take a look at the panels on the right-hand side just to know what you have available to you, and then we'll take a look more in depth a little bit later on. The first panel that you'll work with on the regular basis is my insert panel. My insert panel, if I double-click it, I have a drop-down for common layout, forms, data, spry, in context, editing, text, and favorites, meaning that I can make my own favorites. So just even in the common tab, I can do simple things like hyperlinks and emails and a named anchor, etc. The next panel that we work with on a regular basis is our CSS styles. If I click on the All button right now, I actually have a style sheet applied to this particular page, and I can see my body styles and my paragraph styles, and my heading styles. The next panel that we'll work with on a regular basis is our Files panel. Our Files panel allows us to manage our sites and see what files that we have available. As long as we work within our Files panel, you're going to be able to do much, much more in Dreamweaver later on. For instance, you'll be able to check your links site-wide, and you'll be able to make sure that if you move files around and move pages around, that Dreamweaver will help you make sure that all your links work properly. The Assets panel is a panel that we will also work with on a regular basis. It's a place that we can see all of our images, we can see all of our colors, links, flash files, video files, templates, and library items as well.